Hi everyone, Laura Renner here coming to you live on Thursday, June 13th. Um, I am the founder of Freedom Makers and today we're going to talk about um, how to organize what you're going to have your virtual assistant do. And also, you know, I know that normally I've been coming to you from WeWork and Bunker Labs and um, today we're having an off day, but I do still plan to go out there. I just haven't made it out there yet. And so don't worry about the change of scenery. Um, I'll be out there next week. Although, actually, I won't be out there next week because I will be going on vacation. So I'll be coming to you live from my vacation spot because that's the beauty of running a virtual business. You can work from anywhere. Anyway, on to today's topic, and that is about how to organize what you're going to have your virtual assistant do for you. And there's really, there's kind of two ways that we talk about in our blog. And one is by the task, and the other is by time. And that might seem obvious, but it doesn't always come across that way when we see business owners getting started with their virtual assistant at Freedom Makers. And so it might be that you have a task, but you're going to have them um, process orders as an example, right? So in a way, it kind of doesn't matter when it specifically it gets done, but you still want it to be done consistently. Like you don't want them checking the order box on Mondays and then not checking again for another week or 10 days or something, right? So um, in the example that we shared, it was an, a way to process orders and they were doing it twice a day. So it might seem time-based, but really it's just task-based. It's like, that's what I'm gonna have you focus on. It does need to be done twice a day or um, once a week or whatever you might have your virtual assistant do. So that's one way to do it is to think about what's the task and how frequently does it need to be done. Another way to do it, for those of you who might have more um, varied tasks or you tend to think in terms of time, is to do time-based delegation. And so we've seen that where a client will say, a business owner will say, I want um, my Freedom Maker to be available on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 to 1 type thing. And so the whole idea is that they're sitting at their computer during those times doing work only for that client. And they, that work can vary on what they're doing, or it still could be um, very task focused, but they are like, I want you working for me, only for me, only on my stuff during this shift, if you will. And then you're not going to work, be working for me outside of that shift, right? Um, sometimes that's good too for people who want um, uh, the phone answered. You know, we get that sometimes where people are like, oh, could you answer phones for us? And it, it really varies because we we tend to be more like you should check out a, a answering service or a receptionist for that. For us, you know, it's you don't want to really be paying someone um, a, an an hourly rate to just be sitting by the phone waiting for the phone to ring, right? And also, but then do you want them to answer it while they're in the grocery store? So you get to think about things like that. So sometimes people will say, "I want you to do you know time based where you're sitting at your computer from 11 to 1, 10 to 1." only working on my stuff and that's because you know that that's when you tend to get a lot of calls as well so you you're going to want them to answer the phone and do all the other things on your to-do list so just wanted to share with you those are two ways that you can delegate you can delegate by the task or you can delegate or basically have a shift kind of thing um, and this is specific to virtual assistants because virtual assistants by definition have multiple clients they are supporting it's not like an employee where when they're on shift with you they're only supporting you right so for those of you who might think oh I, let me text my VA or call them and say can you take care of this and then you're frustrated or disappointed when they don't answer or don't respond to you right away that is a struggle